Hello and welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer, I'm a photographer and photo instructor. In today's video we'll talk about my favorite tripod that seems to be not very popular among other photographers and that you perhaps have never seen before. Before we start, let's get a few things out of the way. I don't normally talk about specific products. And I won't even mention the manufacturer of this tripod. I bought it myself with my own hard-earned money and I don't get paid for promoting it. But as I show a specific product in this video, I'll mark it as advertising, just to be on the safe side. Okay. Let's go outside. There are a couple of reasons why I like this tripod so much. Here's the first one. Watch this. Five seconds and I'm good to go. Number two. It works almost as quickly the other way around. Just press this button and there you go. Number three, when you stop pulling out the leg extensions, they immediately lock in any position. You need to pull them out somewhat more, no problem. And they lock. No fumbling with knobs or levers or what have you. Number four, if you look closely, you'll note that the upper leg extensions have a small diameter and the lower leg extensions have a larger diameter. That's just the other way around as with conventional tripods. But it's not a bad thing actually. You can stick the leg into the mud up to here uh, and no water or dirt will get into the leg. So that's great for outdoor work. It does have some other nice features but those features are not unique to this type of tripod so I won't show them. Now, why is this interesting tripod not more popular among photographers? Well, I can only guess, but here are a few reasons. One, it's a bit expensive. The best price I could find on the internet was 249 euros. Granted, there are more expensive tripods out there, but many people just don't want to spend that much money on a tripod that they may use only a few times a year. Number two, it's heavy. It weighs about three kilograms. And well, agreed, it not, it's not fun to carry around such a heavy tripod all day long. Point taken. Personally, I don't care much. Number three, some people claim that the upside down construction of the legs results in reduced stability. And in principle, that's true. But in everyday use, it is not a big deal. Actually, this tripod is quite sturdy and I've never had any problems with regard to stability. What do you think of this tripod? Please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. 